very good morning to you all and welcome back to Dr. Vipin's Biotech and Bioinformatics Classroom. And today we discuss a very important utility called GREP. So GREP is a command line utility for searching plain text data sets for lines that match an expression. So the name GREP comes from the actual uh, short form for global regular expression print. So you're searching the entire file for the particular expression that you want to, and you want to print all the lines that contain that expression. GREP globally searches for regular expression and prints matching lines. An additional advantage with GREP is that you can refine and modulate your pattern. So you could be a very specific in the word that you want to search. You could be a little less stringent in the word that you want to search. You could also search only in uppercase, only in lowercase, or you could be making it case insensitive. So those kind of applications make GREP a very high value utility for searching plain text files for specific patterns that you want to search. Coming now to the syntax. So the basic syntax is simple. You say grep and then you give the expression that you want to search for, followed by the file name and the file name has to come with full extension. So this syntax prints all lines containing the expression of your interest. If you want to know the number of times your expression has come in your file, so you could use the uh, grep command with a switch. So here you are, you say grep minus C, Again, the expression and then followed by the file name. Uh, this prints the count of lines matching the expression. I'll now demonstrate with the specific examples how we can use grep to uh, make a loose search, a very stringent search, and an intermediate search. So here we are in the Linux terminal, and let's have a look at the file that we're going to search. So the file name is uh, marks.txt. So there are several ways you can load your file on the terminal. One of the ways is to say cat. So you say cat marks.txt and here is our file. You can also say more marks.txt and that would also load up your file. So now let's have a look at what the file contains. The file contains the roll number of students in the column one. Then it contains the gender of the students, male, female. Then it also contains the name of students, followed by marks obtained in English, maths, physics, and chemistry. And we now use this file to demonstrate the utility of grep. So here, if you see the roll number of the students begin with MSC, and then there is a numeric value to it. So one, two, three, four, until 20 is the numbers that are given to us. So we'll first uh, search our file with respect to roll numbers. So let's say we want to see roll number three. So we say grep, right? MSC three. And then the file name marks dot txt. Here we are. So this is the roll number match. So this comes in slightly different color. You have MSC three. The student is male. The name is Arijit. The marks obtained in the various subjects are 70, 72, 69, and 70. So let's clear this out. So let's say you want to see the marks obtained by a student uh, with roll number one, right? So you say grep MSC one, and then you give your file name, which is going to be marks.txt, right? And you press enter. Now the problem is there are so many uh, roll numbers where MSC1 comes as a substring. So for example, MSC1 of course is there. Then MSC10 also contains MSC1, MSC11 also contains MSC1, uh, then likewise MSC19, until MSC19, everything contains MSC1. So grep has pulled out everything that contains MSC1, irrespective of what was there as an extension or not, right? So how do you now specifically pull out only the roll number that you want, right? So in that case, what you can do is you can make your search more stringent. You could use the minus W search. So we say grep minus W. Then we give our search pattern, which is going to be MSC1, right? And then the file name, file name is marks.txt, right? And you press enter. And this time there is no mistake. You have exactly the word that you wanted to match. This is MSC1. The student is male. The name is Priyanshu. The marks of Tinder are 80, 82, 80, and 78, right? So this is how you can make your search stringent. 
right? Now let's say you want to look for a student name and the student name that we're searching for is Neha, N-E-H-A, right? So let me just clear this out. And here you are and you're looking for the student name Neha. So you say grep, N-E-H-A, right? And then of course the file name, which is marks.txt, right? And you press enter and here you are. So now again, what has happened is anywhere there's a string Neha has masked into the lines, those lines have been picked up, right? So here you are, you have this one is Neha, correct? This one again is another rule number with the same name, Neha, MSC8. This is another rule number with the same name, uh, MSC14. Uh, this is another student whose name has Neha in the full name. Likewise, here is another student whose name contains the substring Neha in its name. So therefore, these also have come up. So now you know how you can make it so stringent. You can use the minus W switch, right? So we'll use the minus W switch to restrict our search exactly to Neha and nothing else, right? So here we are. We say to this command, we add minus W, right? And you press enter. So this is now going to give you an exact match. So many a times the sheet may also contain the name in lowercase. So there is another, uh, so there is another uh, problem that may arise and that is that uh, the same term may also be present in the lowercase. So how do you in make your search inclusive to include both the uppercase match as well as the lowercase? So here we can use the switch which is called minus i, right? So what we do is to the same command, grep minus w neha marks.txt, we'll add one more switch that is minus i. Minus i means it is, uh, inclusive of both capital as well as small letters for the search term, right? So here you are, you press enter. And now if you see, you've got another Neha, which was in small letters, and this was in MSC 19. And now you see your search has increased. There is an additional student whose name was Neha, but her name was entered in uh, lower let, uh, lowercase, and therefore she was not a part of the search earlier. So this one here is a search that is stringent and also a bit less stringent in terms of the case of the letter. So it could search both for uppercase and lowercase, but the search term is very stringent. You're giving a specific search term Neha. So it doesn't match anything like Sneha or Nehal. It only matches Neha and gives you the output. So we know this is coming four times, but let's say you only want the count and you do not want to see the lines. So you could use an additional switch here that is minus c right so we keep the same stringency in our search but we add an additional search that is minus c to get the count of the number of times our expression is getting uh, mentioned in the file so we keep the same grep command but with that additional switch that is minus c to pull out the number of times our expression is coming the way we have defined it right so here you are and this gives you a count of Four. Then you might also want to see the line numbers where your expression is coming, right? So for that, the additional switches minus n. So for that, we keep the same command, but we change the switches here. So we remove the minus c because we don't want the count. So we can remove the minus c and then we add here minus and we add here minus n, right? So this is now going to give us the line numbers as well as the lines where the search term has appeared and we say enter and this is it. So our search term has come on line number five, line number nine, in line number 15 and in line number 21 of the file here. Right? So let's explore some other search options. Let's say we want to find all lines that do not match our expression, right? So for that, the option is minus V. So let's say we want to find lines that do not match our expression. So for that, we can use the same expression, but we'll use an addition switch that is minus V. So here we are, we'll use minus V now. And this will give us all lines that do not match our expression with the stringency level that we have defined. So here we are. These are the lines that do not match Neha in any of the two cases, uppercase or lowercase. And you also have the line numbers here. So here we are, we have used minus V switch in addition to the switches that we're using earlier. So we have uh, minus I for ignoring the lowercase, uppercase, minus W for matching exactly the word Neha, minus N for giving us the line numbers, and minus V for giving us the lines that do not match our expression 
that we have given. So now let's say you want to also see lines above and below the match matching line. So for that, the switches are A, B, and C, and I'll give you examples of how they are used. And let's say we are looking at roll number five. So if you remember, our roll numbers begin with MSC prefix. So we say grep. So we say grep MSC5 marks.txt. And here is our MSC5 line. Now we want to also see two lines above this and two lines below this. So let's say you also want to see two lines above this. So for that, the command is minus B capital B, and you can mention the number of lines you want above it. So minus B is for before, right? So here you are, the same command, and you say minus B, and you specify two. So now what you're going to get is uh, the matching line and also two lines above it. Here you are, so you have MSC5, you have MSC4 and MSC3 as well. Likewise, let's say you also want to see two lines below your matching line. So for that also, you can use the switch of minus A. Minus A means after the matching line. So let's say now you want to see uh, two lines after the matching line. So the switch is minus A, capital A, minus A for after, right? So here we are. We can change minus B to minus A. And here we are. So we get MSC5, which is our matching expression. Then we have MSC6 and MSC7, which are two lines after our matching line, right? And let's say you want two lines above and two lines below the matching line. So for that, the command is minus C. And let's say you want to see two lines above and two lines below the matching line. For that, the command is minus C. So we're going to use the same command, but change the switch to minus C, right? So here you are, you say minus C, and you press enter. So this is our matching line, MSC5. You have two lines above it and two lines below it. So in this lecture, we have seen how grep can be used in various combinations to query an individual file. In the next lecture, we'll see how grep can be used to query a directory. Thank you for watching, and we meet again very soon.